here to ask our uh, elected representatives and those who are running for office if they will support um, the, the resetting of mortgages to fair market value. There was an attorney general settlement and it did not include Freddie and Fannie loans. And so everybody with Freddie and Fannie loan is pretty much out of luck unless they decide to write down the mortgages. And the reason it's important that they write down the, the mortgages to fair market value is that there's so many underwater mortgages right now that in Washington State alone, if the underwater mortgage were written down, that would free up $1.4 billion. And that would create annually. And that would create more than 20,000 jobs annually. And that would go a long way in getting our economy moving. So that would free up that much money, right. money people spending money. Right, right. If I'm paying $500 less on my mortgage, guess what? I can, I can buy things and the economy can start moving. People say, we need jobs, we need jobs, we need jobs. Students are saying, we can't afford college, there's no money for tuition. But guess what? Mom and dad would have money for tuition. The, the state would have money for tuition because people would be buying things and taxes would be going into the coffers. And how many people in our state did you say are affected by these? I didn't say how many okay. were involved in the state, but I know it's, I think nationally it's about 1.5 uh, million. Who are underwater? Who are underwater. And you don't know about the numbers in the state? I don't know about the numbers in the state. I just know the numbers, the numbers that I gave you about the $1.4 billion comes from a study called the Win-Win Solution. It's gonna be found online. And it's, 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 it's simple and it's, it, it's amazing. It, it's like that would solve like so many problems. So this is a three beginning of a three-day event for you guys, right? The launch of the National Home Defenders League. So will you all be out here for three days, or is that nationally? No, okay. it's nationally. So there, there will be events going on around the country. And, and I'm sorry, I can't remember if I read it or if you said it, but specifically, you are asking those running for office or those in office to do what? To um, demand that Freddie and Fannie write down the principles of fair market value. And why should they do that? Why should they do that? To get the economy moving. Freddie and Fannie, is in collusion with the big banks, um, caused the housing market to go up, get out of control. And now we're calling on them to fix the problem. And, and fixing the problem is not just a problem for those few people, or relatively few compared to the masses. Um, it will get the whole the economy moving for everybody. And so are we ta we're just talking Freddie and Fannie or all of the big banks? Or okay, there was an attorney general settlement and that covered the non-Freddie and Fannie. Um, so right now, our focus is on Freddie and Fannie. No, and I'm not speaking for the whole uh, Home Defenders League because we just launched today, and I can't speak for everybody. But here in Washington State, right now, in our little pocket, we're looking at Freddie and Fannie. And can I? The residents of Washington State would like to know which side you're on: Freddie Back, Fannie Mae, and the big banks, or homeowners? I'm with homeowners. Well then, would you please come and sign our, our thingy here? Pledge. Our, pledge. our thingy? Yes, I, I would love to sign your thingy here. <laughs> sign this pledge um, and indicating your support of the homeowners? Not a problem. I'm just wondering why... Uh, why not... I'm, I'm just wondering why not enough politicians are signing this. Why there's no more names? Why there's no more names? Good question. Especially names of people who are supposed to represent us. Good question. Okay, I got a sign right here. Huh? Yes. Okay, pardon my penmanship. You're signing and it's recorded. Okay. In more ways than one. That's a good thing. Now go get some more signatures. We will get more signatures. And if you don't get signatures from them, get some answers as to why they won't give you your signatures. Absolutely, we will. Well, thank you so much for your support, Mike. Thank you. And I'm, this ain't the end of it. Okay. Oh, wow. This is the beginning. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Starting today. Are you, are you uh, 